Welcome back to the channel guys. I'm going to be breaking down some of these images that have been released by Zara over the last few days on their Instagram and on their website. And I'm going to kind of like circle back to what it actually means. Now my background is a commercial photographer. I used to do commercial photography about 10 years ago. And I'm going to um, just tell you one thing off the bat and that is that when it comes to themes of photography, there's nothing that's um, done without mistake. There's always a, a design, especially at the level of Zara's, you'll know that everything is there for a reason. Nothing is put there by accident. The whole structure, the shaping, the the design of everything is meant for something um, and a representation of something. Now, the first thing that you look when you see this image, for example, is you see the rubble on the floor. And then you'll see the crane. So either the crane is picking up rubbish or it's building. So what, when you see cranes and stuff, you see normally um, a construction site or something like that. So it's representing building something new. Now, if you look over here, you see a chipboard. And this chipboard's particular shape is that of Palestine. Um, and I kid you not. So I'm on Photoshop here. And if you look at this, I flipped it. But um, if... Uh, if you look at this here, you can see clearly the straight path here. You can see the slope here, which is there. And then you can see the coming down here. And then you'll notice as well that this bottom part is missing, which I'll show you at a later post. And then you can see the, the straightness here with the rough edges again here, all the way down. And obviously, this is the particular picture with the mannequin of the um, dead body. Uh, in Islam, when you get um, when you pass away, you are buried in this white cloth, no matter who you are, how rich or how poor you are, and that's representation of what's currently happening in Palestine at the moment. There's loads of images currently circulating. Uh, you lo also notice that some of these pictures that you'll see the rubbles on the floor, and then this particular person's like you can see the one eye here. I'm not going to dwell too much into the one eye um, arrivals, conspiracies, but you ca it is quite predominant. Like this person is always looking at something. So, for example, one eye here, triangle here on top of this pillar. Um, in, in photography, again, uh, when you are taking photos and you take photos of clothes, which is fine. But then why would you take a random picture of this and put it on your website? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you're setting up the theme, but your theme for what exactly? And there's multiple pictures like that. Another one here. Um, again, this is the chipboard, and then you can see the bottom part of it is missing. But what you can see here is a triangle, and then you'll see it again later on. Again, the bottom part is covered by what? A triangle. And again, this person is wearing the checkered black and white which i'm not going to go into detail again but what that represents and what symbolism represents now pictures from these kind of uh, images um, and marketing and even movies and that they always have symbolism in them symbolizing uh, some things are like they love their symbolism zionists love symbolism and you'll see that across a lot of the commercials and stuff that you just got to look deep in um here you go you got the person in the white cloth you got a mannequin pointing at this person it's kind of reminiscent of what's going on right now with the whole world watching and looking and pointing uh, but nothing's getting done about this genocide um this is the main image here that was actually deleted by uh, zara's um zara actually deleted this image and the f the the nerve of putting it up in the first place honestly again this person one eye showing and there's another picture uh, and we find it where you can also see one eye of this particular person or one of the people in the background. Where is it? Here you go. You've got one eye showing. There's always an eye showing. And again, this is symbolism at its utmost. So guys, please boycott Zara's. Um, and if you find anything in the uh, images, let me know. And um, yeah, if there's anything I've missed, let me know. Thank you very much. And um, subscribe and like this video to raise awareness and share it with more people. Thank you.